Hello everyone, welcome to the corner here on this fine rainy afternoon. <laughs> um posed a question for y'all here last week asking about what you thought was in the box. And I must say, some of you guys are pretty creative as far as what you think is in there. But uh unfortunately no banana bread, no tomorrow's lunch. None of that fun, happy stuff like y'all are coming up with. But, uh, box is empty right now because nothing in it right now. Took whatever, what's supposed to be in there out because well, I've been on a bench here all this past week working on it. But, uh, I didn't flip the box this way last time because it would have gave away what's in there. And I didn't flip it this way because it would have done the same thing, albeit it's upside down. But that's what's in there. Or was in there. Uh, Jimmy Flintstone's resin 36 Ford. And uh, it's got a few parts to it here. Grill, interior, whatever else. A lot of uh, older kit pieces that came off an older, you know, this is an older kit, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, <laughs> but uh, the chassis that's underneath it is taking on a little different look. So far, this is what I've got. This is what I'm going for as far as look. Uh, I tried getting the color to be somewhat close, but I don't think I'm going to get the color exact. The color that's on there on the engine right now is the color that the car is going to be in the end. It's, uh, to me, is coral blue. A little bit more blue than what the picture is, but it's going to be good enough, I guess. It's actually this color right here. TS41 Coral Blue. Right out of the can, right over white. Um, resin body, like I say, is from Flintstone. Uh, tires and wheels, I think, are out of the uh, 62 Pontiac Catalina. I think that's where these came from. The firewall... Is out of the Ravel 40 Ford, as is the entire chassis and running gear engine. This is all 40 Ford. Uh, cut, shortened up the nose on it, and took uh, about an eighth of an inch off the back. Shortened the back end up about eighth of an inch. Brought it in. The exhaust pipes out back will get cut off, shortened up, and when I put the chrome tips on it, I'm gonna probably cut it off right about where the mounting bracket holds it to the to the frame I'm gonna probably cut it off here and then this will all go away then the chrome tips will go on that way the chrome tips will sit flush with the rear uh, gravel pan on the back of the car went with the street rod style chassis just for the design of it I'm going for kind of a old old school look but yet kind of a modern look to it um, chassis I painted it with the uh, to me a champagne gold I didn't know this color was out kind of nice to see it come on there we go come on there we go pick that up and that's what's shot on the frame I don't know how well you can see the color but it turned out pretty nice I like the color you can kind of see that same color peeking through back here too. It's on the roof of the Fairlane sitting in the back here. We'll get to that in another video. I just got to kind of sit in your teasing you a little bit. <laughs> but uh, the uh, yeah, the fender section is off the one of the you know molded and gray kits. The blue parts are off the uh, 36 Ford convertible kit, which is a little newer issue than the, what the gray kit was. But it's all 36 Ford. Um, kind of massaged a few of these parts, sanded a little bit underneath to get some clearance, cut the aprons off of it. You see the notches I put in here, these are for the to clear the engine mounts. If I can get it to focus here. Come on. There we go. Cut the notches in there to clear the engine mounts, the motor mounts on the engine. These here. Just to give it a little extra clearance when it sits all down and comes in together. 
Also, I had to reroute or remount the not recut and bring the alternator or the generator up more on top of the head versus sticking out here where the Revell kit wants it. The Revell kit, if I would have left it where it was, the generator would be right up against the right side headlight bucket on here, and I didn't want it sticking out that far because I am going to attempt to put hood sides on here. I'm trying to go along with the theme of this. I'm kind of stuck at a question. With it painted close to that color blue, the coral blue, my idea was I thought about leaving the firewall white, shooting the fenders, the body, everything all blue, and then leaving the, the firewall white. Kind of like the old, old school way of doing it. But then I thought about painting the whole thing blue and leaving it alone. But I don't know. What are your thoughts? Give me some ideas. Um, underside is going to be all painted blue. Uh, underside of the interior as well as everything underneath is going to be, it's all going to be blue. So it'll be that, you know, the, the, the Tamiya color all the way throughout the car. Headliner and such will be painted flat black. Interior, I'm going to kind of go with that, uh, it's kind of a light tan. Uh, Model Master color called Radome Tan. I like using that color on interior, so I'm going to use that kind of on the seats and the um, door panels and stuff throughout the interior dashboard will be painted blue. Same color, I mean that coral blue. Using that dashboard inside of it. But yeah, tell me what you think. I'm liking where it's coming along. This has been a project that I started, I don't know, gosh, eight, nine years ago. It's been a while. It's been in the making for a while, but decided to finally pull it out of the box and do something with it. <laughs> but uh yeah let me know what you think as far as firewall color and tell me what you think about the overall look of the build or what are your thoughts on it probably gonna leave the wheels chrome i thought about maybe going that way with it but i don't know i'm thinking about just leaving them chrome leaving them as is anyway give me some thoughts let me know what you think and uh one last thing before we sign off here um, if you haven't, if you people don't know about this guy, or haven't been to his channel to check him out, you need to go over and check him out. Leadhead Custom Plastic. He's only got 296 subscribers. I know a couple of you guys are subscribed to him, but for those of you, of you that aren't, go over and check him out. Hit him up with a little subscribe over there. Check out his videos. This guy builds some pretty cool stuff. Like, I mean, I know a lot of us guys build some pretty cool stuff, but this guy's got some pretty pretty neat stuff. Go check him out. Subscribe to him and give him some, give him some uh, community love. <laughs> but uh, that in mind, we're going to cut this one short, wrap this up. I don't know what lately has been going on with my uploads. They just don't want to upload. I don't know why. But uh, I'm going to try keeping this one kind of short and see if that works better. Try the next one, see what happens. Anyway, take care, everyone, and uh, we'll see you all on the corner. Take care, everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye.